Bell's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves traps on his sobbing in Duga, this you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duva alive. We'll dump the bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solopetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. CIA reinvented you, Bell. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovetsky. For the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. This is your chance to find who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. You're still one of us.
हेलो दोस्तों मेरा नाम है जीत और आप सभी का स्वागत है डिजिटल गेमिंग चैनल में आज आप देख रहे हैं गोल्डर का अगला और आखिरी एपिसोड लार्जेस्ट थ्रेट टू द फ्री वर्ल्ड यू बीन गिवन एन इंपोर्टेंट टास्क प्रोटेक्टिंग आवर वेरी वे ऑफ लाइफ फ्रॉम अ ग्रेट इवल द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स एंड इट्स एलाइज स्लोली कंज्यूम दैट व्हिच इज डियर टू अस वी आर आवर्स अवे फ्रॉम परसिस डेटोनेटिंग न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब्स इन एवरी मेजर यूरोपियन सिटी We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. Oh, that's 
Seafood. Right, stand back. C4 is cooking. Nice work, Bell. Head for the church. Yes, Ale.
They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. We stopped him. Those towers are history. What's your situation down there? Come in. Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hand! Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah, after capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Not anymore. We took down that son of a bitch Aldrich, as well as his key assets here in the States. It'll take Perseus a while to recover from this one. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed all of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. Maybe someday Perseus can join him. Hudson, you're the Shakespeare of Langley. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. Oh. 